Hey guys, my name is Morgan and welcome to today's video. This bed in the greenhouse um, has bell peppers and there's around I think maybe 30 or 40 in here um, and we're going into autumn now and seeing as bell peppers are a perennial they could stay in here and they could just make it through the whole winter uh, but I actually want to plant some new things in here because you can see the bell peppers are starting to touch the greenhouse and it is not one of the best things um, so I'm thinking of taking them all out and planting something that's going to be a little bit smaller things like lettuce and maybe some spinach um, just to work a little bit better in the greenhouse and they'll actually do very well but today's video is going to be showing you guys how to overwinter your peppers so I'm going to bring you a little bit closer and show you with one of the peppers because I am going to be taking everything out but I just thought I'd show you how to overwinter pepper if you are interested so for the sake of the video I'm going to take this pepper plant right here and this is going to be one that I'm going to be overwintering. So the first thing you want to look at is you can see how, let me just remove some of these leaves so you can see a little bit better. You can see how there is one big stem and then it splits off into two over here. So there's one big one and it splits off into two right around here. So now this is what you want to look out for because most of the time this is going to be a spot where a lot of growth is going to come from so here you can see that there's all of these side shoots that are coming off on the side here as well that will also give you some nice new growth but most of it is going to come from these nodes that you can see here so for this pepper the way that i would prune it is i would take my shears and i would come just on top here and trim that off I'd come just on top here and trim that off and all of these other leaves you can take off as well at the end of the day your pepper plant is going to look very sad and it is going to have almost no foliage on um, and that is all perfectly perfectly normal and all alright because when overwintering a pepper you do not want to have the plant focusing on leafy growth you wanted to focus on the root system you wanted to focus on growing some nice strong healthy roots so come the next season your pepper plant is going to be all ready and strong so here you can see at the top of where i pruned you can see that there is some nice new growth just in the middle there now that is what's going to be growing and going to be ready for the next season so that is what you want to look out for you want to look out for these little pieces of growth and then trim all around it because that's essentially what's going to carry on growing now because i'm in south africa and because of where i stay we don't get to below um, zero degrees we don't get into the negatives we don't have frost here so in my climate you can actually just leave this in the ground and come spring it will sprout up again and it will do very well but i don't have a lot of growing space and i have plans for this bed um, after all of these peppers are out so i can't just leave it in the ground i need to take it out the ground so let me show you guys how i do that so what i have here is some nice fresh decomposed compost in a five liter pot i have some fertilizer some water and a spade to help get the plant out because we don't want to be pulling it out because we don't want to damage any of the roots so i'm going to cut all the way around it and then take out a nice clump of the soil as well so the first thing i'm going to do is prepare the new home that our pepper is going to be staying in during the winter so i'm going to take around a handful of some fertilizer sprinkle it in and then take my water and then pre-moisten the soil. I just thought I'd mention that this fertilizer that I have here has a very high number of phosphorus and that is what's very important for especially this stage because phosphorus is our root maker. So in our NPK ratio, the P which is phosphorus is the root maker and it is going to help our pepper establish some nice strong healthy roots so that it's going to do well in the next season. The next thing I need to do now is take my spade and cut around the plant and take out a nice clump of the soil with all the roots. So it's very simple, you just come around and essentially go as far out as possible and we're just going to come in and make a nice circle. You 
can see the circle starting to form as I pull it out. There we go. That is exactly what you are looking for. You don't want to disturb any of the roots. You want to take it out just like that. Then we're going to come over to our pot and place it inside just like that. The last, last thing we need to do is just give it a little bit of water just to help settle it in and to let the plant know that it is safe to grow. There, there is no need for it to resist growing just to survive. It can grow. There's lots of nutrients. There's lots of water. It is a safe environment. So now we have the bell pepper plant all potted up. And where are we going to put it now? There are two places you can put it if your climate does go to below zero and there is a frost and it does get really cold then you do want to put this inside indoors and have a grow light above it or on a windowsill or a sunny area where it gets at least four to six hours of sun a day now if you are in a climate like me where we don't get frost over here you can actually leave it outside and you also want to make sure that it gets four to six hours of sun but for the first week you want to make sure that if you have your plant in the sun, whether it's indoors or outdoors, for the first week, make sure that it is not blasted by sun the full six hours. It might need a little bit of time just to adjust. It has gone through a huge shock being taken out from the ground there, put into a new home, being trimmed like crazy. So we don't want to be putting this straight into the sun the first week. The first week we want to have it a little bit in the shade, bring it out for a bit, make sure that it is getting comfortable and that there is not too much of a shock with heat. So I'm going to show you where I'm going to put my bell pepper plant now. Right here, this is where I'm going to be keeping my bell pepper plant during the winter. The sun rises behind you guys there in the east and it goes over and sets behind me. There's north, there's south. So during the winter, this, the sun is going to rise a little bit off to the side and there will be around two or three hours of sun that this spot will get and then eventually it will move over and the house will be blocking this area. So for the first week I'm going to be keeping my bell pepper over here. The sun is not going to be that harsh because it's going to be the morning sun and then I'm slowly going to move my bell pepper down along that side and up to the bath because the sun creeps its way around there from the morning and then the morning and the afternoon sun is right over there by the bath. So I'm going to keep it here for the first week and slowly move it around and after the first two weeks it should be in full sun and it will be perfectly fine to handle that kind of temperature and that kind of duration of sunlight. And that is all that you need to know about overwintering your bell peppers. This can work with any pepper as well. It can work with jalapenos, it can work with chilies, it can work with any kind of pepper. So I highly recommend you give this a try. I am going to let you guys see the results in the spring um, when the winter is all done and I'm going to be transplanting this back outside. If you are able to get some bell pepper seedlings or any kind of seedling then maybe rather get that instead of experimenting with overwintering so I'm going to be taking out the rest of the bell peppers and getting more seedlings in the spring but this is going to be an experiment and I'll let you guys know how it goes a little bit later on and that is going to be the end of today's video I hope you really enjoy and I hope you learned a little something about overwintering your peppers if you have any questions please leave it in the comments down below please don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time have a wonderful day and stay active in the garden